Okay, welcome to episode two of my um, organization of my craft stuff. So, uh, da -da -da -da. okay, I'm trying to remember where I left off because it's been a couple days since I was out here. So I will set the camera up here in just a minute so I'm not moving you guys around so much. But um, I reorganized that tote before I um, went in the other day and kind of reorganized some of the stuff in here. These are linens and whatnot that I took out from another tote that I want to put with the other vintage linens that I shared with you guys um, before. So I'm going to go ahead and um, secure a tripod or a table using my tote so I can put you guys on it and I can kind of talk you um, through what I'm doing as I'm working on getting this organized. So I will see you in just a minute. Okay, so I know this isn't the best angle, um, but it's the best I can do with what the tripod I have right now. So again like the last video you might hear some traffic going by and Steve and Jeff are outside working on some stuff so you might hear them in the background as well okay so for this tote here I've already taken a few things out that are going to go into the cabin like um I'm sorry it's upside down for me so I, I keep wanting to do the opposite like those baby wipes that I got let's see I ended up buying, oh there's my iron, I ended up buying another one of these um, when, uh, after I first got here because I couldn't find the tote where my irons were. So I have two of these little mini ones which is fine because you know, um, can never have too many irons right? <laughs> so that's good but I think I'm going to leave it out here for now because I already have one inside. I definitely want to take in my um, real iron. Oh, it's so weird doing this. It's upside down for me. It's so wonky. Anyway, so I'm going to take that in. So I'm going to put that in my tote here. Okay, so here I have some more strips of velvet. So I'm going to put that, this is a little bit more wobbly, you guys. I apologize. So I'm going to put that with the other velvet that I have over there. This is just some um, neutral strings and stuff. And I think I'm going to take this in because I think it'll look cute sitting on my um, new shelves that Steve put up from yesterday. Plus the fact that um, it's stuff I use all the time anyway. So this is some more filming stuff. So I'm going to take that in so I don't lose it. This is for my Ot light. I don't want to bring that in right now. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is my iron for when I do, uh, when, I, oh my goodness, when I'm doing, using like the beeswax. And I think I used this when I was doing the, but yeah, I use this when I was embossing the velvet because there are no holes. And so it's just a flat surface. Um, if you, I'll link that video again below in case you want to watch it and see. I'm pretty sure this is the iron I used. Is either that one or this one? I don't remember exactly, but anyway. So I think what I'll do, I'm trying to decide if I have my beeswax stuff inside there or not. So I'm going to go ahead and take that in and I can bring it back out if I don't need it. These are just socks I wore in my craft room back home. Um, here's some more sorry silk. This is what I was using for packaging um, when people buy stuff for me. So I'm going to take that and toss that in the packaging. This is my Bible I have for my craft room. I already have um, one in the house, but I'll keep it in here for safekeeping. These are some men's ties. More about that in another video. Oh my goodness, this is where I put all of my neutrals. Oh my. So I brought these with me here. I didn't bring all of my stuff. This is just a sampling of things. Um, cause, you know, you can get this kind of stuff pretty inexpensive at thrift stores, at least the ones I had back home. And then I have some pinks and purples. Well, one purple. And then I have some different pinks in there. And then um, here's another bag of the cream. So trying to decide, because I do use this kind of stuff quite often, but I think until I get the rest of um, that area organized, I'm going to leave them in here for now because I don't want to clutter up my um, space too, too much. Now these are some wooden clothespins that I bought from Dollar Tree. These are not legit vintage, but I do have these because I like to wind my own floss and string on them. I don't like the embroidery floss little cards because when you take it off, your um, floss is like, uh, you know, crinkled because it's wrapped around something rectangle. I don't like that. And so I use those for that purpose. I did come across another bag of some vintage clothespins. So I'm going to keep these to use for um, when I'm uh, making my soul stitch kits and stuff like that. So. I reserve those for that purpose. Um, Ot light, I'm gonna leave in here for now. Let's see, what is this? Okay, that's some happy mail stuff I got. So I'm gonna, oh no, no, is this? Yeah, I think so. I'm gonna stick that in there, keep that in there. 
This is a really cute little decorative dish. I'm going to take that inside so I can use it to put things in. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and stop for just a minute because I need to move the stuff around and it's really going to shake you guys a lot. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I am just stacking the tote I just went through with you guys onto two of the bigger black and yellow totes because they're empty. So that'll kind of elevate my stuff for me, which is great for my back. My back and this one here um, are the stencils. I believe I brought all my stencils or no, I didn't. I brought um, the ones I thought I would use the most. So I have those on top. Um, this is some of the um, eco dye stuff I had left over from a couple videos. Um, well, one video I did last Oh gosh, I don't remember, but I'll link it below as well. Um, just some more of that kind of stuff in here. Some lace that goes into a different tote. Just some more of the eco-dyed stuff and a couple secret projects down there that I've been working on for almost a year, so I don't want to show those. <laughs> but I think I need to put the stencil somewhere else. And I have more, um, a few of these, the size of a plastic tote. Let me put the lid out of the way here. You know these that are you can get like at um, you know Amazon, Scrapbook.com, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Joanne's that kind of thing. I think what I'll do is empty out this one and put all of the stencils I have in here. So let's go ahead and work on that now. I'm gonna let those get bent. So let me move. Oops, sorry guys, I just bumped the camera. I think. So let me put these off to the side. Now I have ordered um, some additional items. Uh, where's the lid for this? Because I don't want to put anything else in here because um, that's like specific stuff in there. Don't fall. So um, I have purchased um, additional, you know, stencils and different things like that since I've been here. So I have more that are in the cabin. I'll get those later. This is just some um, uh, cyanotype uh, paper. Oops, sorry you guys, it's upside down. I know I keep saying that, but I feel it's weird looking at this. And I just got this from Amazon. So. That can go in the house on the printer um, tray. This is just a sampling. I have like a box of a thousand of these envelopes that I got from thrifting. And I just brought a chunk of them with me and I left the rest at home. And then just some random book pages and whatnot. These, um, I had some vintage wallpaper that, or wrapping paper. And this, it was in the original packaging. And so, oh, dang it. This is so weird. So, um, and I wanted to keep that so I could use it. So I'll put that with, um, for now, I'll put it in here so it doesn't get, you know, smashed. I mean, not smashed, but, you know, ripped or anything. And I'll put that in my tote. I have, like, my ephemera and stuff in. All right, so we'll slap the stencils in here. And these are 12 by 12. I think they're, yeah, they're 12 by 12 at least because I have the larger, um, 12 by 12 stencils in the bottom and they fit just perfectly so all right so there's that and these will stay out here as well these will not be affected by you know the weather so those will stay there that can change you guys um, as I organize my area so in this one I brought this is from Mona Me Gabby it's the Italian crepe paper oops sorry you guys and you can make some really cool stuff with that and then I have um some tissue tape from Timmy that, or, you know, tissue paper or whatever he calls it. And then I just have roll, I'm so sorry. I just have more rolls of that kind of stuff. These are the lids. I took the lids off because they fit in here better. Oops, but I didn't want to throw the lids away in case I wanted to use them um, down the road with the lids on and store them that way. So, oh my gosh, this is, I feel like such an idiot. I can't do this this way. Anyway, so just that kind of stuff. He calls it his collage paper. So that's what's in this one. And again, this is not heat sensitive. So these things can stay out here for now. Put them in their own little container for that kind of stuff. All right, we'll set this off to the side. So I don't wanna put the small one on top there. Okay, so let me see what else that I might have over here that I need to show you guys and, and kind of organize. Okay, I think I'm done for this area right now. I'm gonna go ahead and set up the camera so it points down to the fabric totes and stuff. So I will see you in just a minute. Okay, so let me put that in the bag over there. Oh, this um, tote here, this has all of my embossing folders 
that I brought with me. It's kind of heavy, so I'm going to set it down over here. And again, this is something that can stay out here. And I apologize um, for any shakiness of the video. I am working in a trailer, so it's just, you know, kind of comes with the territory of that. All right. And this is something else I organized after. I almost said as soon as I got off the phone with you guys. <laughs> anyway, so in this tote here, um, this has like... Oh, let me see, put this over here so I can open it. And if you happen to see my head or my hair or anything, just please forgive me because I'm a hot mess still. So anyway, this has like, you know, this kind of vinyl-y plastic stuff and, you know, like the plastic uh, table, vinyl tablecloth stuff. And I have just, um, you know, materials and things like this that are kind of like slick. I have all of the twall that I brought with me um, down here in the bottom so I can, you know, see what I want to use. Things like this, you know, that don't really fit in with, like, my other fabrics. Like, this is an old curtain panel, but it's kind of lacy-like, you know what I mean? Anyway, it makes sense to me. <laughs> so that's what's in this one. Okay, put you over here. And I think, uh, yeah, I did bring my stool out here so I can sit down um, in a moment because, you know, my back. Anyway... So as I was sorting through stuff, I was just kind of throwing things in bags and, and open totes that I want to store stuff differently than being all mixed up into the, where am I, the fabric totes and stuff. So that um, has, um, what was I going to do with these? Oh, these are I was going to put into my neutrals tote, not this, but yeah, so I'll stick that over there for now. Here um, is another selection of some sari silk that I use for like projects and, and whatnot, even though there's a little bit of purples in there. So this I will probably put with um, the um, old embroidery floss and crochet string that I showed you a moment ago. I'll put this in that to once I'm done filming for this portion because currently you guys are sitting on that. Okay, uh, let's see, where am I at here? All right, so here is some more fabric I found that needs to go into the neutrals. So I'm gonna, I have that uh, set aside for that reason. Let me kind of get myself organized. Okay, I need to stop uh, again real quick because I need to move totes around and it's gonna really shake the camera. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm gonna do my best not to move around too much because it's pretty shaky. So um, I already talked you guys through my bottom tote that has like uh, my neutrals and whatnot in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and let's see, where did I put that bag? Oh, here it is. So I'm going to go ahead and throw these in the bottom of that tote. Get these out of the way. I think, yeah, I'll put that cotton pillowcase in there too. All right, so let's move this one. Oh, my goodness. You guys aren't going to be able to see me do this, but I'm just putting these in, oop, these into the tote you, um, I've already showed you before. Now, I did find, I am uh, keeping my fusibles and bondo web and all that kind of stuff um, out here. I was going to keep it in the cabin, but I can get to that pretty easily. So I'll show you guys where that's at um, as soon as I can get back up again. And I'm not snapping the lids on. Um, I'm just putting the lids on there. I'm not worried about, you know, anything getting in here and, you know, digging into my stuff or anything because this trailer is completely solid and there has not been any bugs or anything. Um, anything like that or the big s which i i don't want to say because i am huge huge arachnophobe so anyway plus it's a little bit easier for me to get into that may change so in this tote here as i mentioned to you guys before i'm pretty sure i did in the last video i can't remember because i don't after i edit them i don't like rewatch them or anything um in here i have like um fabric by the yards and like fat quarters and that kind of stuff um newer stuff like um things you can go buy now type of thing so this is some fabric that I uh, thrifted so since it's by the yard basically I'm just gonna go ahead and toss that in there I have some of these bundles um, I was gonna toss this in my neutrals but I think I'm just gonna toss it in here for now that little I think, um, that little stack there so here are some like fabric scraps of like non I think it might be some vintage fabrics in here but I'm just gonna toss those in here for now um, oops, this goes in there too. Uh, let's see, this goes into one of the vintage totes. This is um, old flower sack towel. And I found another 
Lisa thing. So I'm going to toss this in there too. This is like from the 80s, I think. So I'm just going to go ahead and toss it in there for now. Um, it may change. This I'm going to unbag and put into the tote that has um, my uh, uh, Abby Ford's has my doilies and that kind of stuff in it. So I don't remember what tote I was sticking these in. I'll just put it to the side. I'll come across it and I'll remember. And you guys go over here. The paper and stuff I'm really kind of keeping over here. So that way I have kind of like my fabrics and that kind of stuff on one side. Let's see. All right. This is a really gorgeous uh, vintage tablecloth. Isn't that just beautiful? I haven't cut this up or anything. I like to wait because um, I like to look at it and pet it and everything. So I have that out to put in the other tote. All right. So um, these totes I bought from um, Target. And I can't remember. Oh, goodness. It was probably, I don't know, it was quite a few years ago. So I don't know. If I, I've never, oh, you can't even see it. Oh, my gosh. I'm such a dork. These here. So I've never seen these again at Target. And I think I bought four or six. I can't remember. Um, so I'll show you what I have in here. I love these things. And I brought all of them with me, I'm pretty sure. At least I see two here anyway. Anyhow, I'll show you what I have inside this. I like it because um, you can, you know, do that with it. And then the lid, obviously, Abby Doe. And it has a tray, so you can pull this up. And then you can put your different things down here. So I have specific journals in the additional items that go with it in here. And then um, it comes with these two trays. And you can, you know, do with it what you want. So those, these are all um, items that go with those specific journals that I, I need to finish. So I like that because I can kind of, it's like a project box for me. And that's what I use it for. Sorry if that snap was loud. Um, all right, you need to go behind me too because I need to get into the tote that are over here. This is a vintage uh, baby quilt that I thrifted, and it's beautiful. I launder everything um, before it comes into like you know the main rest of my house, whatever. Anyways, this is a really cute uh, baby blanket. I took the backing off. So I took a seam ripper and I just like watching um, some old movies on TV. And I was just picking it apart. So there's that. And I did keep the um, binding, which is here. So that'll be cut up and eventually. And um, I'll probably turn these into at least half of it into um, like some more slow stitch kits. So you can get like a sampling. It's really pretty, I think, anyway. So there's that. Um, all right. Now, let's get to this tote here. This is the one that has like my laces and stuff I already shared with you guys. Um, I think I can get to it. Now, what was I going to put in there? I had some lace I, I found or saw. Um, let's see. Well, I think I took this out of there. But I think I'll put it back. This, nope, it's not going to fit in there. So I'll put that somewhere else. Because um, this is like all legit vintage in here. And I want to keep it that way if I um, at all possible. Now, I had a little tiny thing of lace. Oh, here it is on here so I'm going to shove that in the side there I'll re-roll that later to where it's on um one of the vintage clothes pins because I don't it's on a piece of plastic and that's how I received it that's my stool by the way doing that just so you know um that I'm sitting on and okay so I'll put this off to the side until I find another place for that um underneath here is where I need to get so I can put the doilies and stuff like that in there. And in the bottom of this one is where I'm going to keep the, or put the um, additional like vintage, you know, fabric, you know, napkins and linen and things like that. So I'll have to do that in a moment because I need to move totes around and it's going to be super shaky. So but in the meantime, let me show you guys what I did. I don't believe I filmed this. If I did, again, I apologize. You can fast through this. Um, so I'm gonna, I need to dig through here and pull out, I th maybe this is all vintage, I'm trying to look here and see. Yeah, this is all vintage stuff too, so it's gonna go in between the lace tote, that's right here, right here, and then, um, the other tote with like the doilies and stuff like that, so put that over here for now, and I'll move these over, out of the way. 
And what I did in here is I repackaged um, some of the totes. So what's inside here is um, nothing but upholstery fabric and like fabric samples like swatches and stuff like that. So I have quite a bit in here. Um, I also have some, yeah, so on the bottom, I'm not going to be able to see it. i got to get this sticker off. i got to bring my undo out here because it drives me nuts. Anyway, so this is like some thicker upholstery fabric I bought by the yard from Hobby Lobby. So I put that down on the bottom because that's probably not going to be something I'm going to reach for, um, you know, often. So, oops, oh, sorry guys, I just bumped you. So I put that down on the bottom. And uh, the one that you guys can see, that, well, I guess you can, this tote here. So in this tote here... I put in all of like my thrifted um, like clothing and things I've cut up, shirts, that kind of stuff. This is a thrifted huge tablecloth and I'm probably, I wanted to use this for Thanksgiving a couple of years ago when I thrifted it and but we ended up having it at my mother-in-law's house. So I, I don't think I want to cut this up because I, this is, you know, it's just a brown you know, linen cotton you know, some cut lace work in there. I mean, something, it's not vintage or anything, but I think it's really cool. So I'm just going to store that in here for, uh, for now. Now I do have some thrifted clothing here that I have in bags. So I want to get that organized. Uh, let's see. This is not clothing that can come out. So these are some pants I got from the thrift store. And I have some smaller cut pieces. So I'm going to leave them in the bag just so they don't get... Um, lost. This goes into a different tote. I love that ticking fabric. This is the scarf that I thrifted. Let me put that tablecloth on the top once I get everything in here. These are those bags from Christmas I told you guys about and I think what I'll do um, I'll just toss those in here for now and let's see. This is a tablecloth that I've been cutting up, thrifted. So it's kind of like thrifted stuff in here like that, that's not vintage. I'm gonna kind of toss it in there. This is some amazing fabric that I found. Um, was it Etsy, I think? I'll show you guys the, the um, information. It's 12, or excuse me, 112 James Street. And I'll um, link their Etsy shop below. But they have like um, different linen cotton blends. And so I bought this bundle and it's just so pretty. I love the color. So I'm going to be using this kind of for my, I'm going to be putting together some Sashiko kits as well. And I'm currently working on um, uh, like, a, I'm doing like a video series on my Sashiko, doing Sashiko. I have one video up so far. I will link that below as well. So. Um, I want to keep this out and put it in a different spot, so I'll fiddle with that closure later. Sorry, Mickey. Wait. Here's some fat quarters, so that'll go into that tote over there. Um, this is some purple packaging. I um, am working, excuse me, I'm going to be working on a 100% like legit junk journal using packaging and, you know, things like this, um, food packaging, whatever. Um, I have all of that at home, but I'm starting another collection because I'm getting stuff here. And um, that way I can do that. So I'll just keep that. And then I got this um, in um, a Happy Meal, which I love. So that, all this, I think I'm going to leave that in here for now because I have other, um, what's this? Oh, matter of fact, this is it. This is the, my, um, the Sashiko project I'm working on right now or I have been working on. I have everything in here so I want to keep that out too. Sorry if I'm bouncing you guys too much. And then this is just some more linen like flax linen and cotton um, linen blends. So I want to keep that out too because I need to get a specific tote for that. So I'm going to keep this bag to put that kind of stuff in for now and I you know I don't buy more totes as I need to so I'm just trying to make the best use of what I have and then things I need to purchase totes for I'm just going to store like you know like the reusable bags like from you know the grocery store Walmart that kind of thing Costco so I'll just have them sitting in there for now until because I don't want to go buy totes 
um, just, you know, willy-nilly. I want to make sure that they are the right size for what I want to put in it. And that, you know, because I don't want to, like, clutter this up with um, a bunch of totes in odd sizes or whatever. And then I'll know, okay, I need, you know, three of this size and, you know, two of the smaller. I think you guys know what I'm trying to say. All right, so I'm going to throw these in here because these are thrifted things, too. And then I'll put this on top for now. And I think that's all I need to go in there. Uh, except for these ties. These go in here. These are thrifted. And I have a project in mind for that. And I need to start working on that too. Okay. There's a lid for that one. So I'm going to push this one over here. And then I'm going to move this one. Oh, or do I want to put the one I have underneath me? I'll rearrange. I'll have Steve rearrange those for me later because these are kind of heavy. I don't, um, the reason I can't lift more than 10 pounds yeah. is, huh? You want a first ride with the new windshield? Yep. Okay, sorry about that, you guys. Uh, my husband wanted to take me for a little uh, quick jaunt down the road in our new side-by-side. -side. Um, he and Jeff just got the windshield installed today. So it took about 20 minutes, and the dealership was going to charge like $150. And pff, he's like, uh, no, I can do it myself. So I'll throw some pictures up. Anyway, okay, I digress. So it's starting to get um, darker, and I don't know how well the light is going to be um, with me uh, working in here. So um, I'm going to go as long as I can with filming, and then um, I'm going to have to pick it up another day. So, all right, so this is the tote with the vintage, you know, laces and things like that, or doilies and stuff. So I'm going to sort through here. Um, see, this kind of stuff I get torn. No, not this one. This one's a tablecloth, actually. I have a pillowcase that's kind of got this kind of stuff on it. And I'm like, do I put it in there? Do I put it in here? It doesn't matter. But this is how my mind works. I sometimes get a little crazy. So this is a tablecloth. So I can kind of... Oh, no. Tablecloths go in there. Not in here. Um, isn't this pretty? Look at this. It's so delicate and so pretty. Um, this is like a... A table table scarf what do you want to call it? I hear different names for this kind of thing this, anyway I'm trying to get it to go up in my hand here so pretty I like it <clears throat> so this will go in the tote right here pardon my messy hair being in there um what I do with that bag from Lisa that I found because it goes in here all right I'll probably come across it as soon as I get that tote closed because that's what happens. Okay, so these go in that tote. I may have to create a separate tote for like um, vintage hankies, um, cloth napkins, little napkins, things like that. Because this might be getting um, to be a little bit too full with the tablecloths and stuff. So I need to add to it. Like these are fabric, or excuse me, linen napkins. Now I thought I had, where'd that big white? Oh, here it is. Like this needs to go in here, and I can lay this out, but it's still, you know, pretty thick. So, um, put that there for right now on top. And so I may have to do that for now. I'll put these things in here. I may have to move my Lisa stuff too, but it is vintage fabric, so I kind of want to keep that stuff together for now. And just do that. And do this. Okay, we have an, another empty tote that I can use for something else. Yay! Okay, let's see what I got stacked up here. These are some more of those time kinds of things. Let's put you on fold you and put you down a little bit better. Um, and here's some more right there. Now I'm gonna find that other one from Lisa. Like I said, as soon as I close the tote, I'm sure so. Um, found it. It was right behind me. So now I'm going to put that on top so I can see it. That way, if I'm looking for those specific fabric packs, I'll know that they're in there. So Ooh, there's that. That one's pretty heavy. Oh, I forgot these. Oopsie. These need to go in there too. So because no doilies, right? Yeah. No. Actually, you know what? This isn't like a doily specifically, but I'm going to, um, put that one in here that really thin one so let me add these in all right so let me put these over here 
And the green linen napkins go in here. Okay, there's that. All right, so there's just one. I think that's all. Nope, I have doilies in this bag here. Okay, let's go ahead and add these doilies in here. And I keep these bags. I have a big bag of just these because I don't want to waste them. They're good for, you know, all kinds of stuff. So I don't use them for, like, food or anything. I just keep them strictly for, you know, crafty stuff. So, all right, so here we have some more vintage doilies and whatnot. Um, trying to lay these out as flat as possible. So, some of the stuff I may end up, like I've already said probably a hundred times, I'll have to create um, new totes or additional totes, like maybe have two totes of this kind of stuff, or put it into a larger tote, and then use this thinner, you know, this um, smaller one for something else. So, it'll just, you know, I think all of you guys know that when you have, um, where they have like a true craft room, a craft nook, or whatever, you know, our organization for those types of things is always changing. So that's why I'm not stressing out um, too much about that. Okay. I'm the empty lid back there. Let me just double check to make sure. Yeah, I got some doilies in here. Go ahead and dump this out. I gotta be careful because I do have some pins and some of this stuff. Oh, what is this? Oh, found some more that goes in that tote. I just saw that stuff. So let me just throw this in. Now I am going to snap the lids like when I'm not in here using them. But as I'm organizing, I'm not, I haven't been snapping the lids or anything. So actually this goes in the vintage fabric tote there. As well as that. That's a, like a strip of some fabric. Okay. Just because it's, you know, pain to keep snapping them open and, and close as I'm working on stuff. So, Okay. Let me put the lid here. I'll dump it on the lid. And I may have to cut episode two um, short because it is getting cold. I have my head, my face, and my ear on the left side, you know, wrapped up and everything. But it is still cold out here. And I, so I'm probably going to just go through this and what I have on, on here. And then I'll just wrap up episode two because I don't want to make them too long. I didn't realize um, my first one would be 40 minutes or something. And I cut a lot out and it still was long. So um, I know some of you tell me um, that you like my long videos and I appreciate that. And I like them too because I like to gab, you know, gabby abby. But I know not everybody... Um, has time to watch super long videos, I guess. So anyway, so I try to do a combination of both. That goes in there. Um, this is some more yardage. I can go there. This goes in, like, the fibers and stuff. Um, let's see. So this is, like, that goes there. I think I'm going to create a special tote just for um, my vintage um, hankies and napkins and stuff I think or at least a small one just for the hankies because you know sometimes I want to use those for specific things um okay that all goes up there this is not old this is trim I got from Hobby Lobby and these are all just like little bits I call them cabbage um I mean I didn't come up with that I follow a lot of historical dress people and I don't make clothing and I'm not going to be making myself, you know, an Edwardian dress or some type of, you know, bustle skirt or anything like that. But I like to look at their videos and watch them because I'm interested in, you know, antique clothing and things like that that are from the old movies, movies that I like to watch. So so back, I guess, in like the Victorian days, they called it little scraps of uh, fabric cabbage. So I'm going to take that inside because I do have a container just for that specifically. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and kind of lay these out here. And kind of. Alright, so there's that one. And this one's stuffed to the brim too. And let me get these tossed in here where they belong. Um, let's see what's up here. What's this one? This is a. Oh, fall fabrics. I don't think I have the space, or I might, as I reorganize and bring some more stuff in, to have like a seasonal area, but I think I'm going to do that, um, get a tote specifically for just that kind of thing. So I'm not having to dig through, you know, several fabric totes and, you know, ribbon totes and things like that um, to use for seasonal things. So I'm going to keep the fall fabrics that I purchased um, from 
that quilt shop. Anyway, so I'm going to keep this in here, and that way I can um, organize that in a specific tote for that purpose. Here's a, little, a quilt block I thrifted. It was just, oh my gosh, it was just like that. It came like that, so that's really cool. Um, and I think, you guys, I might be done for today. Um, I, I'm not, I'm going to have a separate spot for non-vintage trims and laces and stuff, and I'll put it with, um, I'll put it with, like, my fibers and, um, you know, things along that line. So I'm going to keep that stuff out separate off to the side. I'm just going to toss it into that empty tote for now, or the small tote I have here. I got these at Costco. Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned that before or not, but it was, um, I think they came in a pack of two or, I don't know, pack four. I can't remember, but I have four of them. So next time we go to Costco, I'll see if they have them because I, I like the size. So non-vintage trims and whatnot are going to go in there for now. Um, we'll put that in there for now. Let's see. I think all of this is... That's not old. That's not old. So I do have some of that kind of stuff that I use, but um, like, oh, you guys can't see what I'm doing, can you? Anyway, um, one of these days I'll get this right. I'm so sorry, you guys. Thank you for being patient with me on that. I'm just a dork. So let's see. That's not old. That's not old. That's not old. Um, this one is. This one is. This one is not not is is and not all right so there's that so these i'm just going to go ahead and pop in here on the top um, what is this why did i keep this in here oh this goes in too because this is more of the fabric scraps it's, it's a mix of new and old but mostly old vintage so i'm going to take that in the uh, cabin house, whatever I want to call it. I mean, technically it's a cabin, but I might say house. <laughs> That's just, just, just kind of how it is. That is not vintage. That is not going there. Um, this is from Hobby Lobby. This is not vintage either. So that goes in another tote. Um, this is also not, this is from Terra Textiles. So I have a, a specific tote just for the linens and burlap and thing I bought from her because it's, um, really high quality. She sells this stuff, um, to dressmakers and things along that line, but I'm not making clothing. So, um, as you guys know, not even doll clothes. I couldn't even do that. So what I have in this tote, I'm pretty sure I didn't take these out and show you, but like, here's like some really old lace. I'll do a proper video where um, I have better light and stuff and you guys can see what I have. But I have four, no, five of these, this size of tote that I got from Target as well. And I have different um, bundles of, you know, laces and things like that in there. So I have that. So I'm going to keep this in here like it is for now. And that is it, you guys. My hands are getting really, really cold. And it's like getting hard for me to move my fingers and stuff around. So I'm going to stop for now. And then um, I may do a little bit more stuff tomorrow if my face and head pain will allow me. Um, and if I do, I'll turn the cam back on again. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and just call it a day. But I do want to show you guys, this is not heavy, so this is okay for me to be moving around. So this is my um, really fancy way that I'm storing all of my <laughs> feasibles and batting and things like that in this Hallmark bag. So it's going to work for now. Um, but, you know, I, I kind of put it in there. Oh, I need to show you guys something. Let me move the camera. Okay, so you know how you have the, um, like, the birthstones list? Mine, unfortunately, is I don't like mine because um, my birthday's November and mine is Topaz and I don't like it. But that's okay. I, I told my mom, I go, you should have had me in February so I could have amethyst. <laughs> Anyway, so they have the traditional and modern wedding anniversary gift suggestions. Well, Steve and I will be celebrating our 13th wedding anniversary in July of this year. And look at what the suggested gift is. Lace, textiles, and furs. I'm not going to get fur, but lace and textiles. So I, I have to point that out to him and be like, hey, look, you have to take me back to Brian's uh, shop in Butte that I love and let me go pick out a bunch of lace and textiles. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Okay, guys, so I need to spend some time getting myself unburied so I can get out of here. So thank you so much for watching episode two of watching me um, organize and kind of sort through 
the, the different totes and things that I brought with me. So I will come back with uh, episode three once I'm able to um, have some time and come back out here and work some more. So I'll see you guys later. Have a great day. Bye.